All right, cool. I'm going to record it so we have it in there. Um, so you're on by phone, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, actually, let's just do this just because it's you and I on here. Um, let's just do questions. <laughs> if you have any questions, and then I can just kind of tell you what I was going to go over today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I saw your video last night yeah. of the, um, what you just posted. Mm -hmm. um, so I think <laughs> – I might be doing something wrong. Okay. Um, so is it best? Okay. So I'm reaching out to 10 people a day on Instagram. Um, but I'm just going through and just messaging them like, Hey, you know, um, I just started this fitness journey and I, I basically kind of got like a script from fit boss. Okay. Um, just kind of saying like, I've just started this, you know, um, is this something that would interest you? I've done it that way. Um, but is it better to, instead of, cause your video said like, don't just jump in there. So is it better to just start, um, liking people's photos, commenting on them on Instagram and then kind of build up a relationship? Right. So that's what, so okay. I've done both ways, but I feel like I've been more successful with that way. Um, okay. because like when I jump in right away, I don't get as much feedback. And okay. because I've tested it out both ways and I'm like, okay, well, obviously, you know, if you can just jump right in and be like, Hey, this is what I'm doing, then that would be great. But it doesn't really get a lot of feedback as quickly as the other one would. Um, okay. Because when I do it that way, I'll, I'll like a couple photos and then I'll say, Hey, you know, I love all your motivation on your, on your page or I'll comment like, Oh, the picture with your kids is so cute. Like, um, you know, just try and start a conversation and then, right. and then they're more inclined to write back versus just okay. like, hey, I have this going on. Do you want to join? Some people will, will definitely respond, but I feel like you'll get more feedback with um, starting the conversation. Okay. Now, for your Facebook friends, <clears throat> do you reach out to them or do you just keep posting and, you know, you reach out to them or uh, they reach out to you? So what do you mean, like when you put a post up or what? Yeah, like, okay, so for Instagram, I'm more, um, like, reaching out. But for my Facebook friends, um, because in the beginning, it was just I was friends with only, you know, close family and friends. And now that I'm, I've changed mine to public and I'm sending out lots of friend requests, um, obviously I do my posts daily. Right with um my friends on there or I should say like with you like with your friends on your Facebook yeah. page do you go through and message um people or do you just post and let them come to you so anyone that likes or comments on that post I reach out to okay so if so if someone's just like going through and they like it like I won't I some people I do reach out to so like I had someone from high school that I saw she posted like she was at work and she posted like a selfie of her like like oh my god like when's the day gonna be over type of a thing and I reach out to her and I because pretty much anyone that posts about hating their job <laughs> <laughs> wanting to make more money um, being like a stay at home mom or anyone that's posting about motivation or health and fitness, I reach out to them. Like okay. anything, like anything along those lines of what we're constantly talking about. I'll be okay. like, hey, you know, like you're either already posting about this or actually let me read you the conversation I started with um, this girl from high school because like I said, I saw her picture and she was like, you know, the conversation started that way. Um, just so you have an idea of what it is. And I'll, I can screenshot it and send it to you too. Um, okay, yeah. But let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, here it is. Okay, so. Um, I just said, hey, hon, how are you? And she said, good, how are you? Um, great, how have you been? And then she was just asking me, she goes, how's married life? I said, it's great, thank you. I said, I wanted to reach out to you because I saw your post yesterday about um, being bummed, bummed out at your job. I said, I felt the same way about six months ago. I've been working with Beachbody now. I'm loving it. I get to work from home, make money, and I love what I do. And she's like, really, what kind of work is it? So, you know, she's, uh -huh. so that's kind of how the conversation started. And then I was telling her about the fitness groups, and um, she says, so is it like a fitness coach? And I said, kind of. 
I said, the company's called Beachbody. What we do, we build coaches. Um, all the hard work of health and fitness is done for us by the company. We just talk to friends and family and reach out to other people who are looking to better themselves. Um, so as our team grows, your money and business grow. It's like, build, it's like being the CEO of your own company, but you have a built-in accountant, lawyer, et cetera. All that boring stuff's done for us. Um, uh, just, we just get to focus on building an awesome team of people who like to build one another up and be their own boss. Okay. So, so yeah, and she was someone who I, I literally, I just saw her picture just scrolling through my feed. Um, mm -hmm. But in terms of like when I post, anybody that likes my picture, I reach out to them or comments. I reach out to them um, personally in a message. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and then when, how often do you follow up with people? Are you waiting like a month, you no, know, a couple like of weeks? Two days. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. what I do is, um, because I probably reach out to, honestly, I reach out to about like 20 or more people a day. Like I know my numbers. Like I think a really good way to like track, okay, like I know once I talk to 20 or 30 people, I'm going to get one coach out of that. So I've uh -huh. kind of gotten mine down to the number 20 of tracking if I reach out to 20 people. So like, let me just show you. Um, Cause I have, so I just have like a calendar and like this, uh -huh. can, are you, can you see what, can you see me? No, I can't. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm just okay. like, the, I'm just, like showing the computer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, so I listed, um, well, you know what? I'll show it because the rec it'll, there'll be a recording. Okay. So I have December challenge packs and I like listen to people and then I have potential December, um, coaches and then I have mm -hmm. my follow-up list. So like, um, let me go back to, so like for the month of February, um, where's my notes? Um, I have, so I created a list that I've notes everywhere. <laughs> um, I just have a list of, all the people, oh, here it is. Okay. So I have a list of potential coaches, and on here I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> um, oh my God. So these are people that I've already had the conversation with, and mm -hmm. um, either had the conversation with and sent them, the, shared the sneak peek into coaching with them, or, um, uh, there's been some point of contact that they've said that they've been interested. So, okay. so there's a difference. I, I differentiate between like new people that I'm reaching out to and then people that I'm following up with. So okay. the people that I am following up with, I give them probably about honestly a day or two, like two at max. And then I'm like, Hey, cause it's, it's top of mind. Like I don't want them to go like a month and then completely forget about it. Um, right. So I, if I put them into sneak peek into coaching, I follow up like the next day. If like, not even two days, I would say probably it's usually just the next day, but people that mm. I'm talking to, I give them maybe a little bit longer, maybe two, three days, but I don't let it really go any longer than that. Okay. Yeah. Just because it's, like I said, it's top of mind. They, um, you know, the conversation's been had and now it's just like them kind of waiting to make a decision. But I feel mm. like, I, like I, and, and the reason why I say this is because for, for myself, I wish I would have started this business sooner. Like I, that's the, my only regret is like, I wish I would have jumped in sooner. Um, mm -hmm. so like for other people, I'm like, listen, this opportunity is here. Like, and I, when I was talking to um, the girl, I was just reading you our conversation. I was like, um, I said to her, I was like, this is, you know, this is what it is. And she's like, oh, well, it sounds like too good to be true. I was like, listen, that's what I thought too. It's not going to come to you. Like just because you want people to join your business. I'm like, you have to work hard for it. But over time, that's what you're building. Like you're not building something that is going to bring you in thousands of dollars tomorrow, but in a year from now, year and a half from now, that's what you're building up to. Right. So, you know, I try and explain that to them because that was, I mm -hmm. feel like, by reading the compound effect, that's, that really like opened my eyes, mm -hmm. you know? So what I'm sharing with other people, it's just my own passion for the business. And like I said, me personally, I wish I would have started sooner. So when these people are like waiting and they're, 
uh, I don't know, or, you know, I'm like, ask me questions. Like, what questions do you have so I can answer them for you? So I, like I said, I don't let it go longer than two days. Once, once I either invite them into the coaching or they've said that, they, that there is a possibility of them being interested. Okay. Now, when you reach out to people, is that just, because you're saying that you reach out to 20 people a day, mm -hmm. is that you on Instagram liking and commenting and yeah. trying to, okay. Yeah. yeah, because what I do is, so like, let me give you an idea of some of the hashtags I use. Because I know one of our coaches wasn't too sure. She was like, I was like, hey, are you hashtagging your, 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 I, what did I say? I said, are you hashtagging? And she's like, yeah, I'm posting, but um, I'm hashtagging this and that. I was like, no, 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 no. I said, are you researching? Are you searching? And she, and she was like, oh, like she didn't understand what I meant by that. So I mm -hmm. might not have been explaining it the right way. But um, when I go into my search, um, uh -huh. my last couple of hashtags are, let's see. They are... Um, girl boss, uh, let's see, um, dream big, muscles, happiness, what if, wife life, busy mom, build your business, the compound effect, motivated, um, happy life, fitness blogger, because like that was a really good one. I went to an event yesterday and there was, um, it was a bloggers event in South Florida. So I met, I, I actually got to meet people. Um, mm -hmm. and after the event, cause they're all bloggers. So they're hashtagging and they're, you know, they're like, they were at the event. So they have it on their social media. I followed up with people through Instagram from oh, nice. pictures that they, that of them being there. Okay. Good. Um, work from home, networking, fit Miami, um, coffee talk, fit wife, fitness, business. So those are just some of the hashtags that I've been using to search for people. Okay. So, and I try not to, I try to really stay away because I know this was a concern of yours. I try and stay away from just like fitness or fit family or fit life or fit without, you know what I mean? Because those are so oversaturated with, um, with people that are already doing it. And it's just like the same people or people that are already coaches. So I try, like, you know, you, you did an awesome video with the avatar. Um, so try and follow, use that avatar, those words that you've described to do your, your hashtag searches. Okay. Yeah. I was noticing that, um, when I would go into search, I'm like, gosh, everyone is doing the same thing I'm doing right. and how am I supposed to find anyone? Right. So exactly. then I went into what Kenny does for a living and, um, I just, um, you know, did, you know, law enforcement wife yeah. and boom. Oh my like, okay. God. Awesome. You need to, you should yeah. share that with our group. That's okay. Awesome. I didn't, I, I didn't want to like share too much because, um, Kenny's like, no, 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 you don't tell anyone, you know, yeah. like, what well, I do. Well, maybe. And so I was like, I just felt like, no, like people aren't going to like hashtag this. And oh my gosh, there are so many women out there who, you know, are taking pictures with their husbands in the uniform and saying like law enforcement wife. And oh, I'm like, that's awesome. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then I, we're, so we're in Temecula and Temecula is like the big wine country over here. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're members that it's called Wilson Creek. And so yesterday I, I hashtagged Wilson Creek and oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, this is so much easier now. So like oh, the light bulb awesome. finally, specific. <laughs> yeah, the light bulb finally went off, yeah. but I need to, cause I just started reaching out and messaging people. I just need yeah. to, you know, do that the conversation. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell our coaches. That's, that's like, that's like the light bulb moment because yeah. it's exactly <laughs> what I was trying to explain to them how I was saying, like, I reach out to like, there's a park right next to me and I walk the dog there. And like, it's called Margaret Pace Park. So I hashtag because people are working out in there, but it's not like fit life or fit family. Like it's, it's, you know, mm -hmm. what I mean? it's so it's not something that some random coach would just search for. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's yeah. Really good. That's, and you know what? Cause, so this, this will be shared with our group, but it won't be shared with 
it's not going to be, well, you know what, I'll make it, I think I can make it private on YouTube. Okay. When I upload it. It's, it'll be our, our, our uh, group's little secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but you know what, it's good though, because like, so say someone else, you know, um, they're a student or something and they could, whatever university they're at, they can hashtag, you know, uh, Rutgers fit or Temple fit or, you know, UCLA fit, you know, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? So as long as they're, as long as our coaches understand that you have to just get specific with it, it won't be oversaturated. Once they're searching for the more narrow they get, the more it'll be like, oh, wow. Like these are people that have no idea what Beachbody is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. I just finally this week, I just felt so much better because I'm doing this stuff. I'm going, I'm doing this wrong. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just, I'm doing this wrong. But the thing and is, then, you're being consistent with it. So, so now it's like you have the, like the light bulb went off. So now you should be getting some good traction with it. Yes. I so, hope so. <laughs> um, how did it go with those? Um, you were talking to some people, right, about coaching? Yes. So um, the husband and wife team um I sent them an email just saying okay if you guys both want to do it you know you can sign up as a coach and have him sign up as a coach under you right. I followed up with her a couple days later and turns out that they're going to be moving so she said right now we just have to save every penny okay. but as soon as we get this figured out this is something that both of us are interested in okay so okay. I just went oh nice um and then <clears throat> there's another girl who um, works with my sister in Chicago. Okay. So I need to follow up with because she was very interested. Nice. And right now, my sister is in my challenge group right now. And I guess her friend has been asking her, you know, how's it going? You know, okay. do you like it? So, what um, do you sister, Does your sister want to coach? I asked her, I said, hey, look, you know, you can do this on the side because she's an esthetician. Okay. Uh, I said, you can do this on the side and I can help you. Right. And she's like, you know, I just need to focus on building up my business with the esthetician um, salon. And I said, okay. So I'm actually going to Chicago in April. Okay. And I'm actually going to see her in March when we go to Vegas. But right. I'm going to talk up talk with her again to say this is how I don't want to say how easy it is but right. you know if you have a passion for it which you do right. you know, I could totally help you right so I'm gonna try and you know get her on board and then um so I've been trying to talk to Kenny about hey do you want to you know drink Shakeology too you can sign up under me right and he's like you know not right now hold on I said okay okay so yes or on Friday he said, hey, I'm going to go to work. Um, can I just take your last packet? <laughs> uh, I said, yeah, 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 here, just take it. Because I just now got my big bag. I said, yeah, right. take it, it's fine. So the next morning, he's like, you know, I had it for lunch. And I have to say, it really did fill me up. And I yes. didn't have any cravings. And I was like, see, Kenny? Yes. <laughs> That's so, so funny. Yeah, and then um, his friend is going to sign up. I'm not sure if he's going to sign up as a coach, oh. but um, I buy Roden and Fields from his yeah. wife. Okay. So um, I was talking with her, and she said, you know, my friend's a coach, so I'm going to go with my friend, but my husband, I'm going to have him go with you. Oh, so it's nice. perfect. So I followed up with him, and he said, yeah, let me um, let me figure out what I'm going to do. But, yeah, this is this sounds good. I want to do it. Awesome. I said, okay. So, yeah, if you had – I mean, so even if – so say he signed up with you, and then, and then this coach signed up with Kenny, you would have – you'd have one coach, but Kenny would already have one coach with him, and then – or you could do both of those – both of the guys as yours, and then you're at Emerald. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I can't even tell you how bad I want to hit Emerald this month. And what? I'm like, gosh, you know, like, we're coming down. And it's getting close to the end of the month. I'm like, this is my goal. Like, I have to do this. Yeah. So I've been – it's not just, oh, yeah, I want to do it. Like, no, I want it so bad. I know. And you've been so <laughs> amazing with all the – just the effort that you're putting in. And it's like, I promise it'll pay off because, like, for me, I just think that, like, you know – by, by doing what you're doing every day, it's, it's like just that rep, the repetition, the, the behavior of, you know, mm -hmm. 
it's works. It's the wheels are in motion. It's just, it's accelerating it. You know what I mean? So yeah. if, if it's going to happen. It's just like a matter of time and it's keeping up with that, mm -hmm. you know, so you're doing all the right things and it's, you know, it's there. It's so close. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but that's awesome that Kenny likes it. And it's so good. I don't know if your kids have tried it, but it's so good for, it's healthy for the kids too. Oh yeah. So I'll, I'll make it. And then, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Conrad, my three-year-old goes, mama, you making your shake? Shakeology? <gasps> and I'm like, yeah, I'm making shakeology. And so, um, I usually tell them, okay, you know, you need to finish your breakfast or you need to finish your right. lunch and then you can have a taste of mine. Oh and my so God. he'll try really hard to like finish his meal and then oh. I'll give him some. And then my you daughter, Cameron, that. What? You should put that on video. <laughs> I probably should. And then my daughter, Cameron, who's a year and a half, she'll see him having some. So then right. she wants to have some. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cute. So, like, she wants yeah. to follow her big brother. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, though. It's, it's good. Yeah. To, like, it's so healthy for them. Um, but maybe, like, the other, you know, mom friends, that see like it's okay for the kids to have they have it their kids have it it's, it's another way for them to get their vitamins and you know <gasps> that's right I should I should definitely do that then yeah yeah because you know if I know um another coach on our team her son is I think she said he just turned three and she's like he thinks it's a milkshake like and <laughs> she's like I'm feeding him vitamins and you know all these all these nutrients and superfoods mm-hmm so she's, you know, for her, it's like, that's her secret way of like, you know, him having a shake, but it's really healthy for him. <laughs> Does she give him, um, like the whole thing or just, do you I know? Think she like, him a little bit. Okay. Just like a little, you know, I mean, uh -huh. not either, you know, a full shaker cup, but she, I think she just gives him a little, like, like not even a sippy cup full. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I'll try that with him too. Yeah, you should totally do that and put and use that on your page. Like, do a video or you know, as you're making it and him asking for it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Conrad, help happy. me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, all right, let me see what else I have on here because I had okay. a whole list of. So you did. You said you did watch the video, so that was good. Yeah. Was yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's see. Steps. Um, so, okay, so for challenge packs, or I'm sorry, for the challenge group, did you, are, is your group, you already started it, right? Yeah, we started on this past Monday. Okay, and how many people are in it? So, um, technically, the, uh, three people have actually purchased from okay. me. Um, and then I have, uh, I think there's nine people. Oh, nice. So two of my girlfriends already had uh, the program and then Meredith, who's also coach, is in it. And then she has um, her girl that she signed up in it because Meredith, I guess, wanted to kind of see how it was run. Okay. So um, you said she's so a coach. Yeah, she's a coach. She's actually on my, um, in my team cup challenge. Oh, okay. Got it. So, yeah. Uh, so she wanted just to, I think, wanted some help or just yeah. didn't want to do it by herself. Um, so she is in it. And then along with the girl, she signed up. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you guys kind of teamed mm -hmm. up. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so, cause what I'm, what I'm thinking is, so out of that group, you said three of them are yours, but they're not coaches. Um, right. Or, I mean, three are yours, three are yours, but they're not coaches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so what I would do, when does it end? When does the group end? Um, um, Okay, so Allie, my sister, is doing the Brazilian butt lift, and okay. that's more like a four-week um, program. Okay. So it's supposed to – everyone's pretty much doing the 21-day. Okay. So when it gets closer, I'm going to say, hey, like we're going to stop because so it's 21 days, but Allie is going to keep going. So I, I think I'm just going to say if those who want to stop at 21 days, stop, but we'll actually continue an extra week. Yeah. I think it's supposed to end um, – Oh, let me just look on my phone. Sometime in March. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. So then are you, are you working towards, so like for, for me right now, like I have like my coaches that I'm signing up, but they're also like any new coach that I sign, I put them, 
just like you guys did in my challenge group, just so they uh -huh. can see like how I run it. And then like the next one they do on their own. Um, mm -hmm. So anyone, so actually my coach told me this. So she told me to, to break down my month because every day I was, I was going for challenge pack people. I was going for coaching people. I was, I, I was like just full throttle with everything. Um, it was just like, it was just like shooting off in every direction and like just every, it was crazy. So what she told me to do, the advice that she gave me was use the first half of the month to get your, your challengers like for the mm -hmm. next month. And then the end of the month, focus on recruiting for coaching. Oh, okay. So that way it's more of like a system. And it's uh -huh. more like, so all of my posts now from like the 15th to the end of the month are going to be trying to recruit coaches. And then once we get into the first of March, then I'm going to talk about from the first to the 15th about the opportunity to join the group. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause then you can really just focus on, and then oh, another thing she said was, um, coming up with a theme and a lot of people like do this already. They'll say, you know, um, like mine this month was business and body. And then the, the January when I did was, um, new year, new you. Um, I know mm -hmm. some people now are doing like spring break, you know, get ready for spring break or, you know, get ready for summer, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of making a theme for it and then using that, th that theme throughout the post. Okay. So I know that, I know that helped me because I was just like, go, go, go. Like every, you know, <laughs> for coaches and for challenge groups and everything. And then, you know, it just kind of, it made it like, I wouldn't say easier because I'm always, I'm always like on the go with it, but I just mm -hmm. feel like it made it more manageable in terms of like, it was just more organized. Right. You know, cause I mean, for me, it's like organizations, everything. <laughs> oh yeah, it definitely is. With, I've just, I've had to go again. Um, I had a little calendar. Thought, oh, this will work. This is fine. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I need like a big calendar. Yeah. That's what I was so talking about earlier. Like when I was holding it up, <laughs> like, this is what it is. But it's like, well, I have a calendar. And it's like the blocks for the days, but then it's also um, like as it goes, as you turn the pages for the month, it's like a week and it's a line, like a full page. So like what I write down is like what I did that day on each page. Mm -hmm. So I can go back and look like, okay, I talked to this person. I sent, I sent them the challenge pack. Um, okay, they didn't sign up with it. Two days later, follow up with them and see if they, if they are still like looking to sign up and be in the group. Um, mm -hmm. someone else, I says, this person, I put sneak peek into coaching. Um, how many challenge packs I, I, uh, sold that day. Um, what call, what coaching call I had, or if I'm setting up a coaching call for that week. Um, and then, um, my coaches, like what's going on? Like if there's a coach that got a new, that signed up with someone with a challenge pack or has a potential coach. So I just kind of put notes down on each day of mm -hmm. what's going on just so it can refresh my memory. Cause once I get to like Thursday or Friday or even Wednesday from Monday, I'm like, wait, what, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So it, yeah. that helps me. And then in the, there's a notes section and in the notes, because I'm, I'm still constantly um, watching other coach videos and trainings and whatnot. I take notes um, from those. And then I okay. also write down another list of potential coaches. Okay. So it just helps to keep it organized. And then um, Jared and I are actually redoing our office and I'm going to have a whiteboard in there and put my list of potential coaches in there. So I know who's on my list that I need to keep reaching out to. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm like organized freak. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, everything has its place. And I think it's just so much easier that way. Cause if not like, you know, I, I don't track, which I should do. I don't track like every single, like in my phone or on the computer, but I, I like to write it out like a more of a, you know, pen to paper person. Oh, me too. I, I can't do anything on my phone. I have yeah. to have a pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just easier. I feel like, I don't know. I'm just, I just, I like it better that way. <laughs> um, okay. So let me see. So yeah, so I was just going to recap about um, 
let's see, like I have in here um, notes for Emerald Team Call. So any questions about like um, getting more coaches or like, because the goal I feel like now for our whole group is just get moving everybody to Emerald because everyone is familiar with, you know, their back office and how to sign mm -hmm. up and, and things like that. So I'm really trying to just push everyone to get like, on board with Emerald because that's when you guys are all going to see the benefits of it. I think, um, I, I mean, my only thing is just getting someone to be interested, you know, yeah. because I feel like, you know, I have no problem messaging people, which now I know I need to um, make conversations with first. And I feel like I can do that, but I think it's just going to be finding that person who is like, yes, that's me. I, yeah. I, I want to do this. Right. And I think I found um, <clears throat> someone this past week who's a law enforcement wife. Mm -hmm. um, I saw her just posting that she was, she was working out or she was doing something. And so I reached out and I just said, Hey, um, you know, normally I would, um, you know, like, like to invite you to a challenge group, but you seem pretty fit, yes. you know, like, have you ever thought about, um, coaching, you know, and inspiring others. And it's so funny because this was kind of the first person who I went off script yeah. and she reached out. And so, um, she's just said, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not in my goal weight or, right. you know, I haven't reached my goals. And I just said, Hey, you know, that that's what makes the best coach is that you can be relatable and you know, you can also work on yourself. So, um, I just left it at that. And then I think like an hour later she wrote and goes, so, you know, what does a coach actually do? Nice. Like, yes. Yeah, and so that's, when, <laughs> and so that's when I was like, okay, Sandy, how do I get her into the sneak peek? Group? Right. Right. And so, um, she did say, um, so I friend requested her on Facebook. Um, and so she did say, okay, like right now it's just kind of, you know, I'm just trying to get my life on track, you know, like I got to think about this. So I don't want to seem like, too eager but then I don't want it to be you know right. okay well I've missed my opportunity because right. she kind of forgot so that's but what like people that are there for themselves they're on the they're like not sure like they're, they're like I don't know if I can do it like they 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 need that extra little push and I and I, I don't even want to say push but they need that extra like motivation because uh -huh. It's like, that's what they, like, that is what, they, exactly what they need because mm -hmm. it's, they don't, they're not sure. They're like, I don't know. Like if anything, this business has given me more clarity across the board than anything else. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, for her not being sure or whatever, her, you know, whatever, like, you know, her excuses are like mm -hmm. that for me, I always try and say like, okay. You know, wh where does the, where are the problems right now? Like, are you not, cause she's saying she's not at her goal weight or, she, you know, she's not where she wants to be. So mm -hmm. is it because she doesn't have the time? Is it because she doesn't, um, she doesn't know what to do? Is it because, she, you know, she doesn't have the support? Like try and f dig a little bit deeper and then okay. use, you know, obviously everything that, that comes along with Beachbody and, and the opportunity to say, listen, this is going to be able to solve your problem. This, you know, mm -hmm. this is exactly like, that's like for someone that's, you know, and I always say like a busy student or a mom or something like for even me, like I'm running around afternoons are the craziest for me. Um, so that's when I do my shakes. Like it's impossible for me to eat or get something to eat or make something during the day. So it's like been a lifesaver that I have my shakes because it's, it's, mm -hmm. easy. it takes two minutes and it's like, I know I'm eating, I'm having something healthy. Mm -hmm. you know? So for her, maybe just figure out like what her why is like, like, why is she hesitant right now? Like maybe she, if she's like, well, I'm not sure I'm trying to get things together. You can be like, well, what is your life super busy right now? This is another benefit that can help you. Um, you know, and on top of that, like for people that say to me, like, I'm too busy for the opportunity. I'm like, that's exactly why you need this. Um, mm -hmm. you know, for someone that's so crazy, like, this business is built to give you freedom. Like it's setting, it's putting like the little steps in place every single day to set that up. Again, it's not going to be tomorrow, but a year from now, two years from now, they're going to be like, thank God I did this. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's just like, yeah. 
it's let it's getting them to see it's not just like okay well maybe i want to do it or i'm not sure it's like the person that's super busy is the one that needs it the most <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true yeah because yeah. Kenny's talking about, you know, his schedule's going to be changing here. And he's like, when am I going to have time to eat? Yeah. I'm like, yep. Come on. You're like, do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 so we did, uh, Jared and I did um, the plyo yesterday. And how, how is that? Oh, my God. We died. So my legs were like, okay, this morning. He goes, my legs are still shaking. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's been like, I love the workouts and it's the craziest thing. Like he's, he, like, I think that you posted in our group. I'm like, what keeps you going? You know? And you're like, when Autumn tells me like, you know, and I feel like I can't do one more then I push for two more, you know? Mm -hmm. So yesterday we were doing plyo and, um, we were doing these, like, I don't know, these crazy burpees and, I was like, come on, we've got, thir we've got, we've got, it was like seven more seconds. Like, let's just go finish it. And he's like, oh, <laughs> so it's just like, it's fun. Like, I don't know if you guys work out together, but I see you doing it with the kids and that's awesome. Yeah. But it's like, once, once he sees the benefit of how just even the shakes work for him and obviously mm -hmm. he's already seen it because he's tried them. It's like, it's a no brainer. I know. Yeah. I'm like, come on, dude. And he's training for this. Uh, he does this relay race every March with uh, it's all law enforcement. Oh, cool. And um, so he's like, I can't, you know, I don't want to change anything right now. And I'm like, okay, okay. <sighs> so after this race in March, I'm just going to bug the crap oh out of him. Oh, my God. Doesn't he know him? <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's the craziest thing because I think once people are past the whole, oh, my gosh, like, what is this? I'm not sure. And they realize the opportunity. Like I said, I kick myself every day because someone came to me, like, two years ago. Um, and I was due – I was – no, it has to be more than two years ago. Like maybe three years ago because I was still living in Pennsylvania – and I was doing wedding planning and this guy came to me and was like, here's this opportunity. And I didn't even remember him coming, coming to me with it. And oh. when I started promoting Beachbody and like doing what I'm doing now, like he goes, Sammy, don't you remember like, you know, years ago I came to you with this. I'm like, Oh my God, like, <gasps> don't, but I wish I would have listened. Like I would, like, like, because where I'm at and I know where, where our team is going and we're like, just, we're in my mind, we're already there. It's just a matter of like it reflecting that on our, on our paychecks every week. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy because I'm like, Oh my God. Like I didn't even remember him reaching out to me, but like, I was like, how could I have been so close minded to not even like, because, and, and if you've seen some of the videos, it's like what they say in the coaching videos is um, like a lot of people, they just don't see the opportunity because they're not ready for it at that point in their life. And that's what was going on with me. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, God, I would three years ago. Like that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I always uh, think everything happens for a reason because I'm so passionate about it now. I was like, maybe at that time I just wouldn't have been as much as, as into it as I am now. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. so, it's just crazy how things work. And I was like, Oh my God, like, I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. So any other questions? I don't want to take up too much time. I try and keep it like 30, 40 minutes to call. Um, no, I think I'm, I'm doing good. Um, you know, just on a side note, one thing that, um, when I'm doing this stuff, um, you know, on Instagram, you know, everyone looks the same. So my goal this week is how can I stand out, you know, because yeah. when you go through like fit mom or, or whatever you're, right. you're looking for, everyone looks right. the same. So um, I'm kind of taking a page from your book and I'm kind of like, okay, what makes Sandy so successful? I know we shouldn't be comparing, you know, you only want to don't compare to anyone else, but it's right. like, okay, what do you do? And I noticed that you have a lot of great pictures. Um, of yourself on there not just like the selfies, but they look right. like professional pictures. So I reached out to my neighbors who are actually photographers. Oh, awesome. I'm like, can you just like take some pictures of me? I don't know, 
you know, what I'm going to be doing. I just want this to look yes. real. I don't want to come off as this is my hobby, you know, right. come join me in my hobby. Right. So this week I'm meeting up with two of my neighbors and we're going to take pictures in the backyard. Yes. And oh my God. Yeah, just to, you oh, know. I love that. And you know what? It's, um, I love that you like kind of picked up on that yourself because this, I did the same thing. There's this one coach um, who I follow, her name's Bonnie Angle. And, mm -hmm. and I, and I was looking at like all these other coaches and I'm like, okay, what are, how are they posting? Like, not just what are they posting, but like, how are they posting? You know, because like, uh -huh. it's, the biggest thing is like, you know, success leaves clues. And they say this e in almost every Beachbody more, uh, Monday call. And they're like, aside from like hitting success club, like what are the clues that people leave that, that you can see, like, this is how that someone, someone's become successful. And I kind of watch her stuff and it's like, she doesn't post, like, I don't think she has any photos of like the, just the product or like, you know, just kind of the cookie cutter, like what all the other coaches are doing. They're all uh -huh. pictures of her. And I'm like, it's like her doing the workouts, her, you know, she does photo shoots and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? That is what I need to duplicate. Mm -hmm. So I love that you like picked up on that. Yeah, because everyone looks the same. And it's like, why would someone come to me right. and not go to that person? Right. You know, and then I've noticed like with the videos, you know, I get a little bit more likes or, you know, and it's like, okay, like that's good. Yeah. Um, so I want to do something else and to show people like, hey, this is working. Right. You know, that it's yeah. not just. Um, oh yeah, I'm trying, but no, like I am seeing results. So I just wanted to, to throw that in. Good. I, like, and and yeah. for me, like another thing that I'm going to do, um, that I've committed to is, is growing my, like a YouTube channel. So uh -huh. I used to do, um, health and I used to call it my five minute fit tip and I would go onto Periscope and I would do, I would talk about, it would be anything. It could be from a, an accountability partner to meal prepping, to motivate, like not just like, Hey, I'm going to do this workout. It was like actual tips for five minutes on, on one specific topic. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do that, but then also, um, incorporate more of like the beach body stuff with it too, for our team. So we have more content. So we have more, you know what I mean? So right. grow yourself as a brand almost like I look at it, like we're each marketers of our own business. So like, how can I market to other people that are looking for the same thing? Okay. You know, mm -hmm. so really, yeah. and that's the thing. This is our, these are our own businesses. Like we are the CEOs of our own companies, you know? So mm -hmm. it's like once you take it seriously as a business, that's when it'll start to really get the momentum. The big, mm -hmm. the big mo. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the book for next month is going to be awesome. Jared had um, the author in his studio um, mm -hmm. at, uh, this past week. And um, he said that he's taken people from, you know, they started reading the book and he's like, then they come back to me and they're already ranking at two diamond or five diamond or whatever. I was like, all right, my team's going to read this book. <laughs> what's, what's the book called again? Just, I'm going to write it down. I know it's on uh, your page, but what is it? Yeah, it's called um, building, building your empire. I think it's called building your empire. They're building, okay. building your empire. Okay. Yeah. And it's Brian Carruthers, C-A-R-R-U-T-H-E-R-S. Okay. Yeah. So it's funny. I, I was looking online and his wife went to college with my cousin. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> How random is that? Well, I got, what a small world. I know. So crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that should be a really good book for us. And then we're going to do, I think I have, um, so I'm going to ask our group, but for everyone that's done the, the, uh, that's read the book for the compounds effect for the month, I want to uh -huh. ask what they want to do. Cause Cause I don't know if you've seen, um, the success book club that I have, like that other group. No, I think, I, I think I have, I'm not sure. Okay. So I have a group of, of just like anyone like beach, but they're, they're coaches. They're not coaches, just anybody that's, mm -hmm. um, that's reading it. That's in that group. And then we have like our just group of coaches. So I'm going to ask everyone if they want to do just a coach call of the book, like a, like a recap, or if they want to be in like a big group. Okay. You know, cause um, oh my God, I finished it and I'm like, oh, I need to like listen to this every day. There's so many 
good little nuggets of knowledge. <laughs> I know. I'm, I love it. I'm not done yet because um, this is the one thing that I've been kind of slacking on because it's like, no, I'd rather reach out to more people, but right. I'm still trying to find that balance. But um, no, I love it. I love reading yeah. it. It just yeah. makes me feel so, um, so motivated and, yes. um, you know, I have the confidence. So, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. loving it. I know. I, I list, so I download it on my phone. So I listen to it when I'm driving around in the car. Nice. So it's nice because whenever like I'll go to the grocery store, I'll go run some errands. I'm like, yes. Like before I'm like, oh, I hate driving <laughs> around. But now I'm like, yes, I get to listen. To <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I had uh, playing in my car and I was on, on the beach, like on Miami beach. And there's this like old guy behind me bumping like, I don't even know what he's listening to. Like, like Lady Gaga or something and I'm in my car listening to the compound effect and I like closed my sunroof so I could hear it I was like god why does anyone drive around out listening to something like this oh my god <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> oh my god. yeah it's, it's awesome so and I feel like it's been such for me like personally like you know I'm, I'm like Okay, like in my mind, like I said, I always say this, like in my mind, as a team, we're so much further than like where we are right now. And I know like, it's just a matter of time till we're there. So in my mm -hmm. mind, the success is already there. My mind's made up. We're already like number one coach, we're number one team in the entire like company. Um, I was like, but it's just like listening to that. I'm like, okay, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just like, like I said, it's placing those little like, little steps each and every day and then and then it's going to be there but I already know yeah. it's a done deal <laughs> that, that's how I feel too I just I'm there I just have to get yeah. to emerald I just have to keep going yeah and you know just keep that in the back of my mind yeah yeah and it's and it's mm -hmm. the thing is it's like once you're at emerald then you're gonna be like okay diamond let's go <laughs> you know I know it's and it's like for me it's like I so this is another thing like whenever I get a coach and I get someone to sign up. I mean, a challenge pack is great, but like, I'm really, I'm really like looking for this, the coaches that want it just as bad as I do and the coaches that are really dedicated to it. So whenever I get someone on the team, I'm like, I'm like, yay for like 30 seconds. And then I'm like, okay, on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> like, I let myself celebrate for like 30 seconds. And then I'm like, okay, now I got to find the next person. Mm -hmm. So it's really like, you know, I don't think it ever ends. I think it's just, you constantly want to be, and the, what the really cool thing is, it's like the relationships that we get to form by like, yeah, these people are amazing because it's people that are in the same journey, same mindset. They want to better themselves and their family. So I think it's awesome to be able to have a new network of all these really motivated people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting, but, but yeah. So any other questions? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let me know if there's anything else you need help with. And we said, let's see, what's today's date? Today is the 21st. So we have eight days. We're going to push really hard and try and work on yes. it. Yes. I, mean, I can definitely, I think that photo shoot is amazing. And I think getting your kids involved in some of those posts about how, how they drink it and how, you know, how healthy it is for them is, would be a really good post to do too. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. And if you need help with anything, you know, always reach out. I'm here anytime. Okay, absolutely. I will. Okay. Thank you so much for jumping on. You're welcome. I'll talk to you Bye. later. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day. Bye, you too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.